John Jones is arguably the best fighter to ever grace the UFC octagon. However, he hasn't been seen in the cage for almost three years as he prepares for his heavyweight debut, but another all-time great believes he will be a success in the heavier division. Today, we're discussing George St. Pierre's prediction, plus some of the most interesting opponents for Bones when he finally makes his return to the octagon. Let's get straight into it then. What did GSP have to say? Canadian St. Pierre knows a thing or two about what it takes to be successful in the UFC. The legendary fighter is the best welterweight ever to grace the top promotion, and he is fully in on John Jones' bid to become a two-division champion. Speaking about Jones' transformation of late, GSP explained that he saw for himself how much Jones had transformed as he embraced him for a picture during his induction into the UFC's Hall of Fame. He said, I took a picture and I put my arm around him. I was like, man, he's solid as a rock. He's huge. St. Pierre himself became a two-weight champion after returning to the sport back in 2017 to dethrone middle weight champion Michael Bisbing and then promptly retire again. And he also explained how he cannot wait for the return of Jones, warning the naysayers that although he's been out for some time, he's John Jones. GSP believes that he is arguably the best fighter of all time, and he can basically do whatever he sets his mind to, and we don't doubt it. St. Pierre then went on to discuss his own weight issues, saying that he struggles to put on weight due to his body type. Although with that revelation, he's probably not going to receive much empathy from anyone. Let us know what you think about GSP's work below. So, who could Jones face for his first heavyweight bout? How about Cyril Gain? Gain returned to winning ways against the popular tied to Ivasa back in September, after the disappointment of his title fight performance against Francis back in January. And with no one at the top of the heavyweight picture particularly active at the moment, Gain might have to bide his time a little until his next fight. The UFC would undoubtedly face criticism if they were to throw Jones into an instant heavyweight title fight, having been out for three years. So, could they decide to use gain as a tune-up fight of sorts. Of course, the Frenchman has his own title aspirations, so he might not want to fight Jones unless it's for the belt itself, as to defeat Jones, who hasn't seen an octagon in three years, would prove a serious setback. A fight against Jones would be arguably the biggest test of his career, which includes the aforementioned title fight, and he may struggle with the excellent wrestling of Jones, who would almost certainly be able to take him down at will if the Nganu fight is anything to go by. We're not sure if the UFC would risk throwing Jones in with gain as we know they probably have designs on him being their next double champ. But if he could get past the Frenchman, then a title fight would almost certainly beckon next. Who would you guys be rooting for if this one was to get the go-ahead? What about Derek Lewis? Probably the least likely comeback fight would be against Houston's Derek Lewis, who has been a problem for most in the heavyweight division for the best part of nine years, although his star is admittedly beginning to fade as he enters the autumn of his career. However, if the UFC wanted to ease Jones back into the limelight and give him an easier fight. This one could be the one. Lewis has provided some of the best highlights in the division during his run in the UFC and has absolutely starched some of the heaviest hitters the promotion has ever seen, including Alexander Volkov, Gabriel Gonzaga, Alexi Olenek, and Curtis Blades. But it's safe to say he's probably in decline at this point. He's dropped his past two fights, and the Black Beast would almost certainly start as a betting underdog should the UFC book this one. A man with power unrivaled by most in the division, maybe with the exception of the current champ. Lewis could certainly provide a few problems for Jones, but the likelihood is that Jones would have far too much in his locker for Derek Lewis, and no one wants to see one of the most popular heavyweights in the UFC's recent history embarrassed, right? Of course, it only takes one punch to land in this division, but we just think Jones is too good to simply walk into a Derek Lewis haymaker. What do you guys think? We're talking Stipe next. Stay with us. As the former champ of this division, Stipe Miocic is probably hoping for another crack at Francis Ngannou title. The Ohio firefighter has often been linked with the fight against Jones, and would obviously be a serious test for the former light heavyweight king. Similar to Jones though, Stipe hasn't been seen in the octagon for what will be two years in the spring, and at 40 years old, his best days are surely behind him. What he does bring to the table though is cardio, and bags of it. So as long as that hasn't faded too much, then he could certainly match Jones in that department. Nobody knows how Jones will perform in the stamina department, having put on so much weight as of late. And if Stipe is able to mix up his attacks and utilize his NCAA Division I wrestling background, he could manage to hand Jones his first career loss. Well, second, but we're not counting that Matt Hamill DQ. One thing that might work in John's favor is just how long he's been out for. Coupled with his age and the wars he's been in, notably with Jones' old foe, Daniel Cormier, whom beat Stipe twice in 2019 and 2020. If this one gets given the green light, it would probably be viewed as Jones' biggest test outside of an instant title shot. Who do 
you guys have if the UFC books Jones versus Stipe. Curtis Blades is coming through next. Stick around. If freak injury had not ended Tom Aspinall's night at UFC London over the summer, we could be talking about him instead of Curtis. Alas, it was Blades who got his arm raised that night to move to three wins in a row and 12-3-1 in his UFC career. Blades has been hovering around the upper echelons of the heavyweight division for quite some time now and still hasn't managed to bag a title shot, so giving him Jones might be viewed as slightly unfair. However, many see this one as one of the most interesting fights to book for Jones' return, and the pair have been involved in a couple of social media skirmishes in the past, which would only serve to spice things up a little. And while Jones is known for his wrestling, Blades is actually the most successful wrestler in UFC heavyweight history, securing 62 takedowns in 16 fights. His striking has also come on since his earlier performances, but he has often had to fight against a reputation which has seen him somewhat unfairly labeled boring. Of course, Blades deserves his place in the rankings, and stylistically, this would actually be one of the most interesting matchups for Jones. If Blades could manage to take him down and hold him down, then he could certainly end up causing John Jones serious problems. Would you guys like to see this one? And finally, it's the man himself, Francis Ngannou. It's difficult to justify giving John Jones an instant title shot, especially when we have someone like Curtis Blades who hasn't taken a three-year hiatus and is always down to fight. However, Dana White and the UFC brass have proven time and time again that the UFC is not a meritocracy and they favor certain fighters. One of those fighters is John Jones, who has done it all in the light heavyweight division, with Francis and the UFC at loggerheads over a new contract. It's been suggested in some parts that bosses wouldn't mind a new heavyweight champion and are looking at the possibility of giving Jones an instant shot. Ngannou himself is coming off the back of a long layoff and has been out almost this entire calendar year after injuring himself in the buildup to the gain fight. Whether he would want to fight the uber dangerous Jones in his first fight back, we're not sure. But if the UFC wants Jones as their heavyweight champion, as most of those in the know are suggesting, then they may just book this one. Whether it's fair or not, it just goes to show you how good John Jones is when people are suggesting he should fight Francis Ngannou in his first fight back after a three-year layoff. As usual, thanks for stopping by today, and remember to tune in again next time for some more fun and games. Oh, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.